Hello. I wanted to do some stuff in the enemy AI parent. We go to this here. Uh, there's the shoot effects. Here's the begin play. Uh, this is the any damage. The any damage. The begin play. We spawn the assault rifle in the socket. We attach it to the mesh. We set the follow timer. We cast the character. And we set the health. Uh, when I follow. Uh, I, I want to see if I've found the player. If I haven't found the player, uh, I want to, I want to sort of, let's, let's space this a lot more. I this up here, we can, we can get rid of, uh, we can keep these different strings. I will get rid of them, okay. Uh, let's go up here. Let's put comments around these. Uh, shoot FX. AI follow player event. Not any damage. This is the event we can play. This is the event we can play. Uh, on fail, if I don't get it. Let's make this 150. Let's double it. Let's create a, it's a simple way, let's create, fail, AI, chase, fail, count, uh, try this, this to integer, see if we can draft this here, let's get this, let's set it, we're gonna add one to it, on fail, I want to this runs every point two five seconds. Look at point seven five seconds on fail. I want to add one on success. I want to set it to zero. Oops, wanna set it to zero. Um, okay, so when I have one I wanna check if this is greater than some number. Five branch. If it is um I want to let's I need more room here. Let me see if it's up here. Here we go. I was true. I want to spawn actor from class. I want to spawn grenade. I'll just be one, one, one. I don't really don't need that right now. Um, might not need it. The spawn transform. I want to add an arrow. It's like in the player AI. Grenade spawn location. Let's set where we want the grenade to come from. And maybe up here. And attach it to the mesh. Back to the event craft. I want to get the yeah, grenade spawn location, get the world transformed. Uh, let's split destruct. Let's destruct in the spawn actor mode. Attach location, rotation. Always spawn, ignore collisions. I want to spawn that. I want to add physics linear. Uh, physics linear velocity. Try again. Physics linear. There you go. Weapon. Static mesh. Put the actor forward vector for the AI. Uh, actor 
board vector. Let's multiply this by pressing Shift 8. Right clicking the second pin, converting the pin to a float. Multiplying it by how far you want the grenade to fly. Adding that to the new, new velocity. And let's see what happens when they can't get to us after five tries. They throw our grenades. This damaged me. These are damaging me. I think. Yeah, they're damaging me. Okay, when this is zero on fail, if it's greater than five. And then once this happens, I want to set this back. Uh, AI chase fail count to zero. Um, let's go to the animations or. And then actually, uh, also, uh, when this is when when we're throwing grenades, uh, let's create a boolean called is throwing grenade. Make that a boolean. Oh yeah. Um. So yes, that that's a boolean. You can set it right at the beginning. Right here. Is throwing grenade true? Take this at the end and press D and left click or just get a delay. Um, I don't have a grenade throwing animation. Um, I think so we can go to this website that I know called Mixamo. You can upload your character. You can get your character out of the engine by going to your mesh. Mine is in player character. Your military character is silver. Right click your mesh. Go to asset actions and export. You can export the FBX to somewhere like your desktop. Once you have it exported, you can come click upload. Select character file. Desktop. And I would upload my MW style female FBX. Like we're using in this tutorial. Once she's in the tutorial, I can use this grenade throw animation and I trimmed it down to 29 total frames, 59 to 89, and I placed it, in, I selected it in place. I want to download that uh, frames per second 60, download everything default frames per second 60. So go into my downloads folder. I can upload that or I can go back into the engine. I'll go into the, into the animations. Here's grenade throw animations. You want to see this again. Delete that. Import it. We can go to downloads. Here's grenade throw. We downloaded this at 848. It's 849. Here's grenade throw. We want you, you want to add a mesh to it. We want the uh, and a starter pack mesh, a skeleton, and you want to import animations under animation, import animations, and then you can click import or import all. Back in the folder, here's this grenade throw two animation, the right arm. That's fine. Let's go, let's save this now. Let's go into the enemy AI. Animations blueprint. Let's go to the event graph. Let's drag from the enemy AI parent off the main series and get is throwing grenade. Let's, get a, let's right click the end of that and promote that to a variable. There we go, we had to compile it in the player. Go to Anim Graph. I want to get a blend poses by bull. First I realized I haven't mapped that new animation. And this, go, the, the last one goes into false. 
I'm testing a new action. The new action is, is throwing a grenade. If it's false, I want to add the animation, but the animation won't be here. Throw. Oh, there it is. Okay, no, it is because we mapped it to the new skeleton, so I apologize. Here's the animation for grenade throw from Mixamo. Okay. Let's test. Oh, and then I wanted to go see how long this is. I made this, I got this down to 0 0.93 seconds. Go to NBA app here. Let's trim this down to 0 0.93 seconds. We can also go into the NBA app blueprint and bind this. Is throwing a grenade. Let's try it now. Let's see. He's gonna shoot us, but when he can't reach it, when she can't reach us, he throws a grenade. Oh, so the animation is looping, and whenever she's not throwing a grenade. Okay, so. Um. It's set to throw a grenade in 0.93 seconds later. Right, because it's, it's set. Okay, so I want this to be maybe. Oh, and this should be false. Oh, okay. Let's try it now. Shooting me, and when she can't shoot me, she'll throw a grenade. Throw a grenade, she's shooting me again. Okay, cool. That that was just a quick typo with the use of the pulse. I shorten their grenade throw up a little bit. I'm gonna make this like eight hundred. 800. I'll make it like 1500. Or 1700. That's pretty hard to get away from if you're right there. Okay, so I would want that to be a little further. Maybe 2200. Try again. I'm sure that up a little bit. Maybe about two thousand. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay, so we got the enemy to throw grenades. Um and we got the animation working. We got animation from Mixamo. We added the grenade. Okay, thanks a lot.